Hi, today we Tanmay, Harsh and Karthik are going to talk about a simple FM radio receiver circuit. So basically what is FM? FM stands for frequency modulation. Frequency modulation is a method of impressing data onto an AC wave by varying the instantaneous frequency of the wave. Frequency modulation uses changes in the radio in the radio carrier frequency to encode the sound. Now FM radio transmission involves three phases the transmitter the medium and the receiver. We are going to talk mainly about the receiver circuit in this presentation. This is a block diagram of the FM receiver circuit. The first component is the antenna which receive which takes in the which receives the FM radio input. It passes it on to the RF amplifier. As the input is highly attenuated, the amplifier amplifies it and also act, also acts as a bandpass filter and selectively lets only a particular frequency pass through it. The uh, the mixer then takes the input from the RF amplifier and the oscillator and produces the intermediate frequency that is a fixed frequency 10.7 megahertz. The IF amplifier takes this uh, intermediate frequency and amplifies it. The limiter then uh, the limiter then removes the noise from the incoming input and passes it on to the FM demodulator. The FM demodulator has a task of uh, extracting the audio signal from the carrier wave. The audio some of the audio signal is also passed as automatic frequency control to the back to the oscillator. This acts as a negative feedback. The audio signal is passed on to the amplifier, which amplifies it and passes it on to the output. Now Harsh is going to explain more about the functioning of the circuit. The FM uh, receiver circuit uh, circuit diagram. The red circle represents the tuning circuit, which consists of a transistor. a variable capacitance and an inductor the variable ca uh, capacitance and the inductor uh, forms a lc circuit uh, which has a resonant frequency of 1 by root omega lc uh, at the, uh, we know at the resonant frequency the impedance of the circuit is the lowest and thus uh, the maximum amplitude of the uh, wave having that frequency uh, can uh, pass through it Uh, and the transistor here is uh, to amplify uh, so this tuning circuit is the rf amplifier circuit uh, with the band pass filter which allows uh, a specific band of uh, frequencies uh, to pass through it uh, which are uh, near the uh, values of the uh, fm which has to be uh, received and the uh, yellow circle represents the if uh, amplifier and the limiter IF amplifier uh, is the uh, part which is used to amplify the intermediate uh, carrier frequency uh, which has been uh, output which has been given uh, as output from the uh, mixer uh, and the limiter uh, acts as a clipper uh, Uh, which is used to remove the noise from the uh, signal uh, which has come during the transmission and other things uh, and the third uh, uh, blue circle represents the uh, frequency demodulator part uh, and the function of this part is to convert the fm wave uh, into a, st a stereo sound uh, which can be uh, perceived by the ear now i am going to explain about the various components of the fm receiver first of all the antenna fm signals are in the frequency range of 88 to 108 meg uh, megahertz the antenna picks up the attenuated input signal and passes it to the rf amplifier the rf amplifier that is the radio frequency amplifier converts the low power radio frequency signal from the antenna into a high power signal the frequency at which maximum gain occurs in the rf amplifier can be varied by changing the capacitance of the tuning circuit an rf amplifier can tune over the desired range of input frequencies this is called tuning uh, and i have explained as before uh, this uh, variable capacitance is used as a bandpass filter and now i will uh, explain the third component uh, that is the mixer and the oscillator the output of the rf amplifier and the oscillator is fed into the mixer the mixer then mixes the two signals and converts the arbitrary uh, received signal frequency to a fixed known frequency this frequency is called the intermediate frequency and is always equal to 10.7 megahertz the advantage of this is that the frequency and the bandwidth are fixed 
no matter what the input signal is this makes the operation simpler uh, and the fourth uh, component that is if amplifier uh, the mixer uh, gives output an uh, intermediate frequency uh, which is amplified by the if amplifier uh, this if amplifier uh, does not amplify the frequency but it amplifies the amplitude of the wave that has come from the mixer the input of the if amplifier is always uh, uh, 10.7 megahertz uh, the if amplifier amplifies the intermediate frequency and forwards it on to the limiter now my friend Karthik will continue the presentation. So I will explain the remaining parts of the circuit. The first one is the limiter. The limiter is the uh, limiter is used to remove the amplitude variations due to noise in the signal. Uh, if there is a noise in the signal, it gets amplified due to the RF amplifier. This results in the amplification of the amplitude of the wave and uh, the limiter is used to cut that uh, amplitude uh, amplitude variations um, using a clipper circuit. The limiter does this by clipping the input from the uh, IF amplifier. The limiter separates the frequency modulated signal and removes any amplitude uh, modulated signal that was picked up as noise. The next thing I will explain is the frequency uh, demodulator. First of all, I will tell you what is demodulation. Demodulation is extracting the original information bearing signal from a modulated carrier wave. The frequency demodulator takes the input from the limiter, it then converts the frequency variations into amplitude variations and re returns the audio signal discarding the carrier wave. Some of the audio is fed back to the oscillator as uh, automatic frequency control. This is the next part of the circuit which is the automatic frequency control. Some part of the audio signal as said uh, retreat by the uh, frequency demodulator is fed back to the oscillator as an automatic frequency control AFC voltage. This ensures that the oscillator frequency is stable in spite of the temperature changes. The AFC circuit uh, in the receiver develops an error voltage proportional to the degree to which the receiver is mistuned. This error voltage is then uh, fed back to the tuning circuit in such a way that the tuning error is reduced. This acts as a negative feedback. The next part of the circuit is the amplifier. The amplifier, uh, amplifier amplifies the signal coming from the frequency demodulator. We vary the uh, variable capacitance to tune the circuit. For the selection of the uh, desired radio frequency, we use the tuning circuit. In the tuning circuit, we vary the value of the variable capacitance to set the tuning frequency. By varying the value of the capacitance, the LC value of the circuit changes, which changes the resonance frequency of the circuit to the uh, frequency we, we wish to receive. This is how the circuit is tuned and the FM radio receiver is now ready to use. Now you guys can make your own radio receivers at home. <laughs>